All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber here. Day three, wanted to give you an update here. You can see this is a combo, uh, 50 by 120 here, so. But day three, and actually the rain drove us out, so they were moving here, so two and a half days. This is what they got done here, but so let's just take a, a little walk in here. You can see they got the windows. This is gonna be the showroom right here. They got those framed out. As we talked yesterday, this is gonna the owner's gonna put a vinyl flooring right here. Showroom. It's got a small engine repair shop. Let's see how they got that framed out. We did vapor barrier on this roof. You know, some of the buildings that we do, it's drip stop. But on this building right there, you can see for condensation, we did the vapor barrier. And this section right here, as we walk right there, and then you can see the concrete drops. This is gonna be the showroom portion. 50 by 48 and then the back is going to be 50 by 72 and you can see what they've got done here you can see the different elevation changes here in the truss see how that is so you're gonna have a shop area there to work on his equipment back there all right as we go there but again 2100 msr lumber on the trusses there you see that, look at those trusses, pretty top notch here. 2100, two by six, bottom cord, two by six, top cord. And uh, so really about two and a half days and then they had to go, but you can see they got the uh, overhead door frame outs, getting ready for that. And they ran the purlins. You can see we're running purlins on this, two by sixes, 30 inches apart. And again, a baseboard, two by 10. And then obviously we're gonna bring this up to get uh, the concrete up to grade there on that. So kind of gives you an idea they were doing the house wrap. I'm sure the storm drove them out, but uh, crew of five here and shouldn't take them that probably about two days and so forth. They got the roof metal on against a 40 year guaranteed roof metal. And, uh, and uh, so that's the update here out here. It's really close to our office, about seven miles from our office. So easy to get out here and to shoot this. But I just want to show you, look how we tied that in there. See how that kind of drops down there. You see how we put that connecting truss right there. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see that. See how that is buttressed or butted up against that. See how that truss goes right there and then it drops down the showroom portion of the building but people ask me all the time they ask me you know what do we do for permits is it my responsibility or the owner's responsibility client responsibility or you guys handle it now we give you a lot of guidance we do business in 10 to 12 different counties throughout the state of ohio obviously we know pretty much all the uh, decision makers or the people that you need to talk to as far as the counties and the township we'll give you the information we'll give you the drawings the specs the, the details that you need to take to them. And then obviously you go in there and you handle the payment and so forth. But we give you all the drawings. So that way you're, you're well equipped to, to get it stamped and approved. But this is uh, day three, really actually about day two and a half of this progress on this 50 by 120 post frame pole barn building right here in Seneca County, Ohio. Like the video, boom, thumbs up. Stay tuned to the next video. Attic Lumber since 1925.